Hello, my Biblio darlings. It is so good to see you. And in case we've never met, my name is Mally, and you're tuning into Bibliothesia. And the story that we're going to be reading today, it's, it's a beautiful story. It's called Birdsong. And here is what the beginning part of Birdsong has to say on the front cover. When a young girl moves to her new home, far away from the sea, she feels lonely and out of place. But soon, she meets an elderly woman next door who shares her love of nature and art. As the seasons change, can the girl navigate the failing health of her new friend? Well, before we do that, let's get our bodies relaxed. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to share with you some really funny jokes or jokes which I think are funny. Are you ready? Here is the first joke. Did you hear about the mother cat that swallowed a ball of wool? Oh, yeah, she had mittens. <laughs> Instead of kittens, she had mittens because she had wool. <laughs> okay. Here's the next one. Where do cat lovers go on vacation? Peru. Purr. You know how a cat purrs? <laughs> okay. And why did the rabbit go to the bank? Why did the rabbit go to the bank? It needed to burrow some money. Because rabbits burrow underground. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> oh, and here's the last one. Is it easy to buy cat food? Yes. Y yes. You can get it per can. <laughs> get it? Purr, 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 purr. Well, I'm hoping your body is feeling more relaxed, which is the whole point of the jokes. It's a way of helping your body to better regulate and then integrate feeling calm. So with that, let's read our story today. It's called Bird Song, And the cover is beautiful. The cover has an elderly woman and a young person. And there's beautiful grass in a house and the word bird song, and there's birds, looks like Canadian geese, flying up above. And let's open the cover. And here's the dedication. F for my dad, son, nieces, and sister, and in memory of my mother, Shirley Annie, A.W. Ruby, and all the makers who have inspired me. That's beautiful. And then the inside front cover has Birdsong by Julie Flett, and it has a young person and an older person, and it looks like the older version of the younger person. Not quite sure if that is what's there. The first page, Spring, and it has a young person on, on her knees, and looks like she's drawing some art. And there's some art materials. It's a mucky spring morning as we pack up the last of our belongings and leave our little home in the city by the sea. I'm going to miss my friends and cousins and aunties and uncles. I'm going to miss my bedroom window and the tree outside. Goodbye, tree friend, I whisper. Have you ever moved? And have you ever said goodbye to the th things that you're going to miss? I have. It's a really wonderful way of keeping it in your heart. Back to the story. We uh, drive through the country and over the mountains, uh, alongside rivers and fields of horses. We stop to see a lone coyote crossing the road. Our new home sits on a hill overlooking a field, and past it another home. In that home lives an older woman named Agnes. The field is covered in snowdrops. Our new home has two 
trees outside. And creaky stairs inside. Maya new room has a shelf for books and pictures and a desk for drawing. But I don't feel like drawing. My hands are cold. My mom and I bundle up together under the covers in our new home in the country, far from the sea. It looks like it's springtime. And this young girl, it looks like she's lying down on her tummy and she's drawing. Summer. Our new home hums with peeps and whistles and ribbits and chirps. I watch Agnes, our neighbor, working on something in her yard. Why don't you visit her, Katharina? My mom says. I nod. Okay. I, I take our dog, Oho, with me. Oho means owl in Cree. Hello, Agnes, I say. You must be Katharina, she says. Woof, Oho barks. Your mom has told me all about you, Agnes says. She says you love to draw. I do. Agnes loves to make things out of clay. She shows us around her yard. There are berries and flowers and so many of her clay things. They look like the branches and birds and flowers. Visit me again soon, Katharina, Agnes says with a smile. I smile back and give her a big wave. I can't wait to go home and start drawing. That's the best feeling ever. Fall or autumn. And the young person is on the ground, Katharina, and it looks like she is drawing. Oh, that always makes me happy when people draw. I do visit Agnes again and again and again. Agnes digs in her garden. I help by gathering extra leaves that'll get mixed into the soil. The worms love this. It's getting cold and windy and creaky. Agnes says she's getting creaky too. Would you like to see what I'm working on, Katharina, she asks. I'd like that, I say. Oh, look at her um, studio, it's beautiful. Agnes is working on a pot that's round and bright. She tells me about waxing and waning moons. I tell her about Cree seasons. This month is called Pimihapism, the migrating moon. And if anyone who speaks Cree is watching this, I'm sorry if I said it wrong. If we ever meet in person, please remind me how it's said in a good way. Here comes the moon and two shiny seagulls. And there go the geese. Winter. Looks like Katharina has a warm sweater and she's drawing pictures. Winter. It's Oho's first snow. We toboggan until my snow suit is soggy and Oho is covered in tiny snowballs. After we warm up with mom by the fire and then help her finish making salmon stew to share with Agnes, yum. Agnes hasn't been out as much and needs a little help over the winter. She likes the salmon stew. Her daughter who has come to stay for a while likes it too. Aww. In case you're wondering, I'm licking my, my finger so I can turn the page. Agnes sends me home with a cup full of bulbs, flower bulbs, snowdrop bulbs to plant in the field next autumn. They look like tiny moons. They give me more ideas for pictures. My fingers itch in my mittens. Spring. Looks like Katharina is still drawing pictures and it looks like she has some bulbs of flowers in a cup beside her. 
Oh, looks like she's looking out her window. Agnes has grown weaker over the winter. Still, from her bed, we can hear the spring birds singing their songs and the tickle of the branches against her window. We listen to the sounds together. The snowdrops are peeking out. I wish Agnes could see them. I have an idea. <gasps> I run home and gather up all my drawings. Agnes's daughter meets me at the door and we take two ladders from the closet. Oh, look what they've done. Beautiful. When we're done, Agnes says, it's like a poem for her heart. Hmm. Ah, I'm so emotional. <laughs> Beautiful. Ooh. Not sure why, but it's really touching me. Then hmm. I sit with Agnes and talk about making things mucky things and things with string and song and paper and words and then we sit quietly together on Agnes's bed until it's time to say goodbye now, whew, it says I leave with an ache in my heart I have an ache in my heart just reading this but I'm so glad to know my friend Agnes and I have dear friends. And I guess I was thinking, if they got weak like Agnes, I'd be sad. Hello, Mom. Hello, Otto. Hello, home. With two trees and creaking stairs. Oh, so appreciate what you have. Oh, beautiful. D later that night, I eat some. The frog moon is full. My mom and I bundle together in our home. My hands feel warm and the covers feel soft. And I think of my friend until I fall asleep. Oh, as you can tell, this story has moved me. It's so beautiful. It's about meeting people who we connect with. And those people have a really special meaning in our heart. Oh, what a beautiful story. It just makes me feel all warm and loving inside for the beautiful friendship that um, Katharina made with her friend. Oh, so beautiful. And when big feelings come up, a really beautiful way of honoring them is to welcome them like they're long lost friends. And in addition to that, Let's finish our time together by doing a deep breathing exercise. It's a 4-4-8 deep breathing exercise. It means we're going to inhale for four counts, hold the breath for four counts, and exhale out for eight like we're blowing out wind. So when you're ready, inhale deeply for one, two, three, four, and hold the breath for mm, 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 mm. And now exhale out for eight like you're blowing out wind. Well, I'm hoping you're feeling more relaxed. As always, it's been so wonderful spending time with you. And until next time, take care. <laughs> Bye.